What's going on, all you beautiful people? Welcome back to Knife Life EDC. Uh, I've been trying to branch out a little bit with where I bought my knives at, and this was kind of a new one for me. Plus, it was an exclusive for this company only, so it was the only place I could get this knife at. So I was kind of found out about them, and I kind of like that they're veteran-owned. Um, I'm really big into veteran stuff because obviously I'm a veteran. I'm you know served whatever, but um, so I'm real like big into supporting veterans. And I also like the smaller companies, also like this and Blue Creek Knives. Like I'm a real big fan of the smaller companies and helping them out. And so that's why I kind of bought this. Plus, it's got my, one of my favorite type of knives or brands, I guess, companies next to like the Kaiser Drop Bear. I usually like American made knives, but so the Kaiser, just Drop Bear. Can't beat it. But this is the. The exclusive penguin in the imperial white. It did also real quick. I'll open this up real quick for you. It came with a bunch of stuff in it too, like the actual box box. Um, it came with some little stuff right here, just some, I guess, stuff about different knives, penguin stuff, penguin plus mini. Just try to guess get people to buy them, or they're exclusives. They're exclusives for this company, so that's kind of cool though. Yeah, they're all exclusives. And I did like this. This said, talking a little bit about them, their information and stuff. And then a little thank you type thing. That was kind of cool. I like those little companies like this. They kind of do that personal touch. And it also came with a lot of a lot of stickers or swag, as people say. I don't know. Like there, like there's one. So I thought that was kind of cool. Like they, they really put quite a few stickers in there, though. So I thought that was kind of cool. This is probably my favorite. I thought it was kind of funny. Let's just look at it real quick. Because they ain't the truth. I'm just saying. That's what I found out to be. And there is another one. That's pretty cool. So you have your card with your information on there. I actually have the knife. So I'll go over that in a few. Obviously, QSP does their stickers too, so that's pretty cool. I like penguins, so that's cool to get penguins with a penguin knife. Kind of, kind of sounds dorky, I guess, but penguins are my favorite animals, and now they are one of my favorite knives. Next to the Kaiser Drop Bear, I talk a lot about the Kaiser Drop Bear because I'm such a fan. But we'll get these out of the way for right now. Kind of move them out of the way so you can see the the knife. We'll leave that one for Billy because I like Billy. So this is the QSP Penguin with the Imperial White G10 scales. Um, I love penguins. I just like the way they look and the shape and the way they feel. They feel great. And this is also not your normal steel. It is the M390. So I, I like M390. I have a few knives with M390 and I'm thought they were pretty good so far have had any problems so just really excited about this knife I love stormtroopers Star Wars I don't know if I have any Star Wars geeks out there but I love Star Wars and like <laughs> stormtroopers and I'm getting quite the stormtrooper collection of knives I guess I'm getting a few of them and I kind of wish you know obviously you can't make the knife white I guess or something but I wish it was kind of reversed sometimes but this is still pretty dope. Like, you guys can't tell me it's not. It also has that titanium pocket clip. This is actually my first knife with a titanium pocket clip. So I'm kind of curious about how that's going to go. I'm sure it's everybody raves about them. Everybody talks about them. So I'm kind of curious about that. The one thing I did see later after buying this, um, I was looking at it again online, and I noticed that there's not a reversible pocket clip, which that sucks kind of, but... I know a lot of people, lefties, probably want this type of knife too, and they don't want to fight with the the reversible pocket clip, or they would like a reversible pocket clip. But I guess I guess you give a little, get a little. It is the, a liner lock, obviously. That's about normal for most big ones. But it flips open pretty nice. Detent's pretty good. Yeah, flips open really great. Obviously, I haven't had any problems with penguins yet. 
I have like four of them now. This will be my fourth one. And I have no problems with anything on them. They are just overall great knives. Like here's one. Obviously this is the QSP, QSP Penguin with the D2 steel. And I just think they all look great. Like I also have the, the carbon fiber with the, the red in it. So as you can tell, both look like great knives. So obviously same size, same you know stuff. Probably different size or different weight, excuse me. We'll get a weight comparison here shortly. Cause this feels a little chunkier too. Yeah, so it, I was assuming it is probably, you know, but but I don't know, you guys tell me what you guys think. Like I think it's a beautiful knife, it looks great. It is a what the the, over, the handle length is four inches. And the open overall length is 7.06, excuse me. Um, obviously, you have your M390 st uh, steel blade. And then you have your sheep's foot, which I'm a, a big fan of sheep's foot. I just kind of like them. You have your ceramic bar. Uh, I cannot talk today. Your ceramic ball bearings. So there we go. Um, the, the blade length is... The blade length is 3.06, so that's about your average for the QSP Penguin, just the regular. Um, here is my other favorite one. This is not obviously the regular, it is the Plus. And I actually love the way this one looks too. Like I honestly, if I, I don't know, if I had to choose between these two, I don't even know which ones I would be able to choose. I really like both of these. Like, I just like the way this one looks, the aluminum, everything, handle, or carbon fiber. Like, it just, it just looks great. I, QSP just does a great job with that so far, that I, I think. Um, pretty good. Well, I don't need to talk about that one. We're doing a video on that. Uh, the stepping, or jimping, is pretty good on this. Not too bad. I, I think I still do. There, maybe. There you go. I like the, uh, the jimping on the Kaiser Drop Bear a little better. I always have though, like the Kaiser drop bears jimping is just, I don't know, I just like it. And plus they bring it out there a little farther, which I like to choke up on them. But for what it is, it's not bad. I like it. It'll work for what I need it for. There's no play in it. So that's nice. Um, great knife. Let's get some paper. Let's check that out. I want to check out how well it cuts. As you guys can tell, I think I've gotten a little better on cutting paper. Since there's been a few videos out, like I look, I look like I'm having a rough time. I'll just say that. And that, as I say that, every time I say something like that, that happens. I just need to stop talking about it. So it's a great knife, cuts great. I do want to get a quick uh, weight for your weight difference. Get this crap out of the way. But let's get that scale out. And I didn't say the price yet. This one was more expensive because obviously it's, um, there we go. Let's get that out of the light. It's different steel. So it's M390, but this one was 90 bucks compared to like this one. I think this one is 35 to 40 bucks. I think I'm not quite sure. 100%. I know this one right here was like 175, so obviously plus is a little bigger. A little bigger, a little more expensive, a little more meat to it. That is 3.3, and that is actually 3.4, so that is actually not much heavier. It does feel, you could, I don't know, I almost feel like I can tell a little bit, but I might just be crazy. I've been known to be a little crazy. But, looks like it is right, oh, right centered. Yeah, it looks like it's centered pretty well. I wonder how much this thing weighs. So they all. Hmm. So they all weigh pretty close. Not, not too bad. So I don't know. You guys tell me what you guys think about it. Do you think it's worth 90 bucks? Or would you rather stick like with this right here, which is like 35? With this, you obviously get the 
titanium pocket clip. It is only on one website, so that kind of stinks, I guess. It is the C, uh, I'll get the, the C Renzer Cutlery and Traditional Pocket Knives, I think is the website right, right there. Yep. So if you want one of these, I suggest go there because that's the only place you can obviously get it. Great knife still. Um, like you're going to get the pocket clip, the titanium pocket clip. You're going to get that white G10, Imperial white G10, excuse me. Um, with that great steel, that M390. So actually all three of these have different steels. This is 20 CV. This is the M390. And this is obviously the D2. So like I said, they're actually all three great knives. But you guys tell me what you think about the this one right here. If you have any questions about it or how many comments about it, just let me know in the comment section. You know, if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up or subscribe or just let me know how I'm doing. If you have any comments or knives you'd like me to take a look at or check out or stuff like that. I know I've been getting a lot of comments about certain stuff to check out. I only got so much money, obviously. I'm not making anything off doing these. I just like to kind of enjoy doing this I guess I'm not making money I'm just enjoying it and that's what I want for right now for it so if you guys have any comments about me or any help or anything like that suggestions let me know and uh, we'll go from there thank you